Hey YouTube, Scarpio here. Today we're learning a more complicated method as opposed to just clicking on your enemy and sitting back. I highly recommend watching my second action bar video and my two adrenaline videos before this one. If you've already seen those videos, it's time for you to learn a basic sunshine or death swiftness rotation. To put this as simply as possible, you're going to get to 100% adrenaline, then use Sunshine or Death Swiftness, then use as many thresholds as possible. That's all you need to do. Make sure you like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. But I'm sure most of you are here for a more in-depth explanation. With that being said, there are a few requirements to do this method. You need 85 magic and range to use the abilities Sunshine and Death Swiftness and you unlock these abilities by completing the World Wakes Grandmaster Quest. I recommend having 84 herb lore so that you can make adrenaline potions. The reason why both abilities are so awesome is because when you trigger them, you either summon a Beam of Sunshine or create a Shroud of Death where you stand for 30 seconds. As long as you're standing within the Sunshine Beam or Death Shroud, your magic or range damage is increased by 50%. It's because of this increase that we want to use as many thresholds as possible. Before we start, make sure you turn off auto triggering for your ultimates and thresholds since we will be manually triggering them. So here's the fundamentals of this rotation of abilities. You start off by attacking your target to get 100% adrenaline. During this build up period, I would not use an adrenaline potion to get there since it will be on cooldown for two minutes. You can refer to my Adrenaline Part 1 video for good methods of increasing your adrenaline gain. Once at 100%, you'll trigger Sunshine or Death Swiftness. This is the point I suggest using an Adrenaline Potion. Once you get to 50%, I would use Wild Magic or Snapshot, because it should come off cooldown in time to use again before the end of the 30 seconds. After that, you can use whatever thresholds you like. Once Sunshine or Death Swiftness is over, you can build your Adrenaline again, but I wouldn't do another rotation until your Adrenaline Potion comes off cooldown. In the meantime, you can use Thresholds or another Ultimate while waiting for it. A couple of things to note, using this rotation does limit your range of motion. You will need to plan accordingly like the example shown here. Another thing to note is that there are many ways to better this rotation with things like planted feet switches, vulnerability, guthic staff specs, and many more. I just know that this will cause a lot of confusion for those new to PVM, and if you want me to do a second video where I cover ways to better your sunshine or death swiftness rotation, let me know down in the comments below. Next week we'll be going over the differences between power, tank, and hybrid armor. Make sure you like and subscribe, and thanks for watching for real this time.